Hi there, it's Miss Nina, speech language pathologist. And today I want to provide some coaching around incorporating communication activities into routines that you're already doing. And one of those routines can be with water. So whether you're giving your child a bath or they're brushing their teeth, washing their hands. We use water all the time. And water can be something really fun for kids, but sometimes it can be a little bit stressful for parents because they just want to splash all the time. Um, <laughs> and so we need to think about when can we provide an opportunity where it's okay to do those things for a child and then other times where we can show that this is not a time to do that right now. Because if a child never has the opportunity to be able to explore something, and the way they want to explore it, first of all, is with big actions. They really want to understand what is this, and it's very fun and different and cold, or it makes a big fun splash. And they need to have those opportunities to explore that so that when they're interacting with water in other settings, they're not always trying to do that. They can get that out of their system a little bit and learn. There are times when we can play and there are times when we don't play. Having this distinction is really important and it, being consistent with that helps your child. So we can use the language around that. It's, if it's a bath time and you have some toys and you're playing, encourage your child to get a little bit big with the action. So that, again, okay, we're going to splash right now. Are you ready? And splash! Stop! Or pour! And you can pour from up high. You can pour on different body parts, pouring it on their arms, on their chest, on their legs. On their head is difficult because we don't like getting water in our face, and so maybe avoiding the head and if the water splashes in their face just keep going and don't make a big deal of drying their face and let's just play with that so it's not something that's stopping the actions that they're doing and we can use body parts right um, and and use the verbs and the actions that go along with what you're doing right you could say that the seahorse swims or jumps uh, coring, go and stop. These are all nice actions we can do when we're doing big play with water. And if you're doing a different activity like washing hands, if the child just wants to play in the water, you can put a time limit on that and be consistent. So you could say, oh, you get three seconds or five seconds to play, and then we're going to turn the water off. So they're playing one, two, three, four, five, stop, all done, turn the water off, and then you leave. You get down, you walk away, and so that that is clear for the child, putting those boundaries around something that they really like to do, but also giving them opportunities so that they can have big play. All right, that's all for today. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.